Hello everyone. Welcome to Oracle Fusion technical training offered by InnoGeeks. In this video, we'll see how to load a data into HCM Cloud using a HCM spreadsheet data loader. So in the previous videos, we have seen how HCM data loader works. Uh, that is a bulk data load option available in HCM Cloud. And in this one, we'll see how a spreadsheet data loader works. And this is typically used if the data volume that you have to deal with is less. So for example, if you have to load in 100 departments or maybe or maybe 10 or 15 jobs, you could use a HCM spreadsheet data loader. And as you can make out from the name itself, yes, this uses a spreadsheet uh, data load, spreadsheet as a, as a format, okay? So let's see how to load in a departments with the help of a spreadsheet data loader, okay? So let's get started. I've logged into the application as a Curtis VP, who is a HR specialist. And to access HCM spreadsheet data loader, I will have to go to FSM screen, click on setup and maintenance. Go to global search and you can search for manage departments. So if you're going to uh, a few setup tasks, such as uh, manage departments, manage jobs or manage positions, you will see this option called manage in spreadsheet. So in whatever screen you see this option, that means yes, you can load data into that specific business object with the help of a spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, I could see manage and spreadsheet option in the departments. You will find this in jobs as well. So we, what that means is you could load jobs using a spreadsheet data loader as well as HCM data loader. And again, depending on the data volume, you will take a call whether you want to use a spreadsheet or a HCM data loader file. So let's see how this works. So to download the template, click on manage and spreadsheet first. That will download a HDL spreadsheet. Open it. Enable editing. And it'll try to connect to the instance from where you have downloaded the spreadsheet. Yes, the prerequisite for you to see this plugin is to have a plugin called ADFDI installed in your machine. So it's basically an Excel plugin called ADFDI, ADF Desktop Integrator plugin. So if you, if you don't have it installed in your machine, you would probably not see this pop up. Okay, so success, download the plugin, install it, see if it is successfully installed or not. And after that, you can open up this file. So it's prompting me to connect to the instance from where I downloaded this file. So click on yes to connect to it. And it'll take you to the login screen. Give it a name. Oh yeah, fill in the uh, login details. Curtis VT, hopefully I've got the spelling right. And paste in the password. It says that there is a new version available. That's okay. Uh, remind me next year. Skip. And you see the data set name. So once, once a spreadsheet loads up, the first thing that you need to do is click on create data set option here. Click on create data set. It says that if there is any unsaved data, it will be lost. That's okay. Just click okay. And you see a data set has been created. A data set gets created with a date and a timestamp. That's fine. And if you scroll down, you see a spreadsheet where you can fill in the departments. So this is a spreadsheet that I'm using to load the departments. And what do I want to do? I, I want to create a few departments in there. So I'll use Okay, so that's okay. It's taking care of the date. So I'm using Jan 1st, 1951 as a start date. And I need to give in uh, a department name. So I'll probably call it, uh, you know, Geeks. Okay. 
in the HR department. And I want to use a common as a, a reference data set, which is a seeded one. So just double click on it, see the list of reference data sets and pick common from the list. And this is one of the benefit of using spreadsheet data loader. In case you don't know what value you want to pick up, you can directly query the application to see what are the valid values. So I want to search for common a reference data set, search for it, pick up the common set and click OK. And I want to load them as a, load it as an active department, and that's it. So I'll just fill in only the mandatory columns. But if you want, typically you will you'll get the details that you need to fill in then in this spreadsheet from a from a client, you will copy the department details from that spreadsheet and paste it into this uh, uh, spreadsheet data loader. Okay, so you can copy these records and copy the entire set and you can paste it multiple times. So it says that I need to unprotect the sheet first before I could create new records. So go to data tab, in the review tab and unprotect it. I can copy the record, copy the record and paste it now and create multiple records. Can copy the copy couple of records that I have now and we paste it again. So we have four records now. Uh, let's change the department name. So uh, let's call it IT department. Marketing and sales. And once you have the data file ready, all you have to do is go back into the spreadsheet data loader tab. And the common mistake uh, that, that students do is they click on import file, assuming that this will import the file into HCM cloud. But that's not the meaning of this. So if you put your mouse on top of it, it will tell you what it, what it does. You have to use this option if you want to data import the data from another file into this spreadsheet. But that is not what we want to do, right? We, have, we already have the data in the spreadsheet and we want to load this we want to load these departments into HCM Cloud. So to do that, click on more option and click on upload. Slightly tricky here, but ensure that you click on upload option, not the import file. And it'll, it'll do the validations and it'll try to upload it. Go with the default options, just click okay. It says the request to import and load data was successful, just click okay. And you see a confirmation that row inserted successfully. But the next thing that you might want to do is you, you want to track this uh, track this load that you have submitted, right? So to do that, you can go to HCM data loader screen and you can track it from there directly. So you go back to home page, my client groups, go to data exchange. And you could you could track the request that you have submitted using a recent spreadsheet load options. It should appear there as well. So if you click on recent spreadsheet loads, you will be able to see the request running in here. But you won't find much details in this particular screen. Rather, you can track the same request from HCM data loader screen as well uh, using import and load data option. Click on this. And you will also be able to see the spreadsheet data loads as well, or you will be able to track them track the spreadsheet data loads as well from this particular screen. And the benefit of using this screen is you get to see a whole lot more information than that you than you than than what you see in the other screen. So you see the import is running at the moment. The import went through successfully. Load will get kicked off now, or it's in progress at the moment. So it should get completed soon, after which we will go to manage department screen again and validate if the departments are loaded or not. And let's wait for one more minute.
Okay, you could see that load success percentage is populated as 100, which means yes, all the four departments have been loaded. Let's go to a main department screen again and validate the departments. Setup and maintenance. And go to global search. Manage departments. And you can search for departments. Let's start with Inogis. And here you go. You could see that uh, four departments are loaded oh, as an active state or inactive status, and uh, they are loaded uh, with a reference data set of former. So this is how you can load departments or uh, rather any any uh, business object you can load data into any business object which is supported by hcm spreadsheet data loader using the process that we have seen just now all you have to do is go to that specific screen download the template fill in the data and then hit that upload button okay thank you very much for watching this video guys in case you are interested in oracle fusion technical training offered by you know Gates, please call us on this number or send a whatsapp message if you have any doubts, you can also write to us on info at redunokeeks.com. Thank you.